Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Reddit Sundays. And right off the bat, I just want to announce I got a new camera. This one is actually like, ooh, it's like silky smooth. It's like actually good. The last one that I had was on sale for $100 off. So I was like, oh, shoot, I got to get this. So then I got it. And literally, it had nothing but issues since day one. So making face cam videos was literally the most painful thing ever. But this camera, I plugged it in. It turned on. It worked. It paired. Like everything. Mm beautiful but today we're gonna hop right into the main topic we have mythic gears for every brawler as a reddit post basically a redditor called pineapple 00717 posted this thing where they uh made a mythic gear for every brawler that doesn't currently have one but before we get into that i'd like to introduce you to this meme is showing that um mythic gears are literally just star powers in disguise and this meme opened me up to that realization that yeah mythic gears or epic gears whatever they're called they are star powers 2.0 star powers are usually things that make it so then you have different stats and these literally just change your stats and these are going to be for like one or two brawlers only so yeah they're basically star power 2.0 which i'm excited for i like star powers i'd love to have more like that in the game Anyways, actually getting into it. So the first one is Shelly gets 20% faster reload speed when her super is charged. That's interesting. We're going to see a lot of stuff like that. We're like, if this, then that, which I think is cool. Bull will now recharge his super each time he gets a kill with it. Oh, that would be pretty good. At the same time, that would be like so hard to do. I don't even think it would be worth putting it on. Your super doesn't do enough damage for it to really be worth it. Yep, boys, we are being honest with these gear ideas. I'm sure some of them are going to be awesome. And then other ones might be like, you know, we could tweak this a little little bit bruce's movement speed increased by 20 percent. yes that one would be awesome because bruce's main issue is that he's so slow i know he's like meant to be a slow tank but a gear like that making him a bit faster that would be awesome we also have uh jesse's turret now has an additional 1000 hp oh my god please don't do this to me i hope that's not what hers is because dude it's already annoying enough to take out sometimes unless you have like the right counter pick for it colt super now fires four additional bullets that would be cool i don't know how good that would be because most of the time when you whiff a cult super you're gonna whiff like the whole thing like they're not just gonna like walk back into it it could be good for like breaking walls i i mean that could be okay and then brock's another thing for a super so you could have the super star power that makes you shoot more rockets and then a super gear that makes you shoot at 20 percent faster i don't know how i'd feel about that it's a good idea actually but i would just hate it dynamics is a uh, delay of dynamic super reduced by 0.3 seconds so it just makes it super explode a little bit faster something like that would actually be really cool for dynamite i think that a gear that makes all of his explosions like 0.1 seconds faster could be really cool and that would obviously be the gear that you choose when you're not using dyna jump because it would ruin dyna jump so i think a gear would actually be perfect for making something in dynamics kit just faster apit's booster will now add 10 percent to his reload speed i think that apit should be a bit like less reliant on his super though because it seems like apit is like kind of useless until he has it and this is another thing that just makes him way better when he has a super but it's also a good idea i'm not trying to poo poo on it bow's mines radius increased by 20 percent no this would be the death of me dude i already struggle to evade his mines and i think this might actually make it impossible to evade them because most of the time you can barely evade them unless you're like a fast brawler oh dude like it's a good idea again it's a good idea but dude it would just it would make him so annoying that's probably how gears are gonna be though like each time a new gear comes out it's gonna be like oh this is cool but it's also super annoying that's how it's gonna go i like this one m's is super now lasts two seconds longer that's cool it really depends on like if you can keep somebody in it in the first place but if you can then uh, that would actually be really good Stu will now heal up equivalently to the damage he deals with his super so with this thing you have to hurt them with his super you have to like catch them on fire and then he would heal from it that's an interesting idea it's not impossible to hit somebody with his super so that could work the amount of times it would work would probably be kind of minimal but that's probably Probably why it's a healing mechanic in the first place. Primo will now land 15% faster with the super. That's a cool idea. I think it takes a bit too long sometimes, like when you're doing it at max range. Poco super will now heal for 10% more HP. Ah, uh, dude, it, Poco heals are already cracked. Like, they're kind of insane. I've been pushing my crow up to rank 35. No more spoilers besides that, but uh, dude, Poco is kind of cracked still. Good idea, but maybe they could do something else. I don't know what else they could do, though. Like, oh my god. Poco's heal is the most insane thing in this game. Barley's super will now last longer and will be able to get plus one hit. I like stuff like this yeah like subtle changes to their attack like barley's it just makes it lay on the ground for a little bit longer maybe you can get a little bit more damage with it that kind of stuff is cool rosa's super will now last plus one second hey i'm not hitting in that one that one's actually kind of good anything that makes something last like a little bit longer i'm down for that and any sort of like subtle heal mechanic or shield mechanic or something i also think that would be pretty cool 
Rico will now restore 1% of his ammo for each bounced shot with his super. Interesting. Okay. This is like a gadget, but you always have it. 1% though. So like you just, and then you get all your ammo back. So if you have bouncy castle, you can heal with your normal shots. And then with the super, if you bounce it a lot, you can get your ammo back. I actually like that. That's not bad. Tailspin will now also heal teammates in his range. 100 health per second. Isn't that his like super? That would be cool. I think like would it heal him as well? That's interesting. I just don't know how often you'd even use your super near a teammate. So that might be kind of useless unless it heals you as well. Daryl will now restore 500 health for each enemy he hits with this super. I like it. That's pretty cool. Jackie will restore 500 health for each enemy pulled by her super. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that one. It's cool. It might be a little bit broken. There's no way to really tell unless we actually see it in the game. Penny's mortar will now blast on destruction, dealing 1500 damage. So it's literally just her old star power. See, this is this is the argument that gears are literally just star power 2.0, like the mythic gear specifically. And there's your proof. Like ideas coming in for gears are just like star power ideas, but it's just rebranded to gears. Spooky boy will now also deal 800 damage to every enemy it penetrates. So it would make Gus's super do damage. That's a star power idea. Like it's basically the same thing, but it's cool. Piper will now leave behind one additional bomb in the center of her super. That could be cool. I feel like even if somebody's in the center of her super anyways, they just die. But it could be for consistency or something. I, I could see that being okay, but I think it shouldn't really be in the center. I think they should just be like more spread out and then put another one in the center. So then it covers more area. BB's bubblegum travels 25% faster. I think that's her super. I don't think that would be that useful. Pam's turret now has plus 1000 HP. Okay, any anything that has a spawner just gives them more health. I think this one, it could be like i don't know her super takes health a bit faster like maybe 0.1 second faster so then her healing gets like a little change but it's nothing crazy but like it's, it's a bit noticeable b's super will give you an extra charge shot if you hit at least two enemies with it oh that would be disgusting but i kind of agree with it i think that's something to do with the charge shot should be what her gear ends up being frank's super will now be fired 20 percent faster yes either that or his main attack should be like five percent faster that would be a great gear for frank if we don't see that i'm gonna cry nani's peep last Last two seconds longer eh, maybe they could like make it faster off the rip or like make it turn faster or something i don't know two seconds longer i don't think that's really necessary it already lasts like really long edgar vault stuns nearby enemies for 0.3 seconds that could be interesting maybe that's something that they might do for his rework because i know that they're planning on reworking him eventually 0.3 seconds isn't that long but it's good enough to like interrupt people for a little bit if they're trying to like pre-aim at you when you're about to land on them grom super will now be able to get through two Two walls instead of one it would turn him into more of a wall breaker i think that's actually pretty good i don't know when that would really be super useful i guess it would be map dependent but yeah that's pretty good rift super will now be able to reach 0.5 more tiles please no it's already large enough we need something else for griff everything that griff gets is like oh let's just slightly alter his attack and the problem is i don't know what else i could suggest but i, I think it should be something besides his super reaching a little bit farther because it's already huge bonnie will now land 10 percent faster that's like the same as a primos i think bonnie's airtime is fine it feels more right with her because she's shooting out of a cannon instead of primo who's just like slowly jumping across you know what i want to see though i want to see somebody who gets like a little speed boost after they hit a shot i I think that could be pretty good for bonnie when she's in her cannon like she hits a shot gets like a five ten percent speed boost for like a second or something like that Tara deals 15% damage to every brawler inside of her super. What does that mean? Like 15% more when she pulls them, after she pulls them? What's up? Or is it 15% more per brawler in the super so it like stacks? I don't really know what that means, but it's interesting. I feel like she can already wipe the floor with people that she supers anyways, so I'm not sure how great that would even be. Sprout super can cover an additional tile from each side. I like that. I like that a lot. It'll make it more annoying, but I think that's a really good idea. Max's super now lasts two seconds longer. I also like that one. It's another duration thing, but for Max, I feel like it's a little bit more like useful because her super is like one of her only mechanics obviously that's like the same for everyone but she only has her main attack to do damage and then her only other ability really is like her super and it does no damage so she relies on her shots and her super and that's it byron's super gives 10 percent healing not damage so just more healing for a super I guess that's okay. I feel like there's better things that you could do though. Plus 500 HP to each penguin. Okay, that would be really annoying, but that's a pretty good idea. I can't deny it. Squeak Super now detonates 15% faster, like the, the boop, 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 or the spread. I don't know what that means, but I think something that makes Squeak's shots detonate a little bit faster in general could be pretty good because you would be choosing like if you want to do damage faster or if you want to control the area for like a little bit longer. That's just an idea. I don't know. It could end up being super bad. Spike super radius increased by 10%. That's a good one. I really like that one. Sandy plus three seconds to his super. 
busted. Nope, not gonna happen. When Sandy was first released, he had a longer super duration and he could just cycle it over and over again. This gear would bring him back to that point and that would be terrible. Crow's super poison will deal an additional tick of damage. I feel like that's not enough. You get your super like once a year. When you use it, it doesn't even really do anything like damage wise. It's best to just like get in and then you hit him with your main attacks a lot of the time. What they could do instead is like your poison does less damage, but it takes one extra. So then it kind of like just keeps them from healing even longer. Or it could always add one more tick of poison and not reduce the damage. Amber super will ignite 15% faster. Yeah, I mean, anytime I'm playing Amber, I light my thing and it seems like it takes three millennia to actually get to the enemies and then they just walk out of it every time. So that's pretty good. Plus two seconds of Leon super. I would love this. I think it would be OP, but I would love that. I think that would be super OP just like Sandy's. Meg, Mecha's HP will decay 10% slower. That's a good idea. I think that's a great gear. Gale's super damage increased by 250? You know what? Yes, give Gale the boring one. That's fine. Give Gale everything that's boring. So then maybe, I don't know, maybe people will stop playing him. 5% <laughs> to lose projectile speed. Please, please do this. I would love that. I want Lou to have a better main attack because this main attack is absolute dog water right now. Surge, 5% damage boost for each upgrade. See, okay, good idea. That's actually a great idea. But Surge already two taps me. And then this will make him two tap me even more. And then I would cry. Rough super will now also increase allies max HP by 200. Doesn't it already do that? Or if you pick it up, then it also gives your teammate more health. I think that's what this means. And if so, that's a pretty good idea. Time to collect will be 20% faster. I don't know what that means, but um, that could be cool. Bell's super can now be marked on two enemies simultaneously. That's a good idea. I like that one a lot. I always find myself like marking somebody and then they're just not getting hit. So I kind of want to move my mark to somebody else. But then like, I don't want to waste it on the first guy. So I just end up not supering again. But being able to mark two people, especially because it takes a little while to get your super. I think that's good. Buzz's super will now also do 800 damage oh okay this is a little weird i would like that a lot because i don't like when brawlers supers don't do damage but i don't know if that would be super op or not maybe you should do less damage fang's first impact with the super takes additional 250 damage his super just does more damage just like buzzes i feel like you could do really creative things with fang but i mean that's not terrible ash's range increased by five percent for every rage level oh range oh so it's like another thing that ash gets when he gets another level so he gets speed damage and range oh that would be insane dare i say it could be extremely overpowered i wouldn't mind seeing it though eve's hatchlings decay 25 percent slower i mean not bad i don't really see what else you could really do with eve in the first place so yeah that's pretty good lola and her ego gain additional 400 max hp lola and her ego Ooh. Yeah, dude, any buff to Lola, just give it to me. I like playing Lola. She's fun. I love playing her in Power League. Janet Super can now be controlled 33% more efficiently. See, this is what I'm saying you should do with Nani as well. This is a good idea. I think the same should be said for Nani. Otis's delay after attacking reduced by point... Ooh, we haven't seen something like this yet. Otis does have a pretty big like delay between when you can shoot and when you can't. So I wouldn't mind seeing that. It would increase his DPS even more, which now I think Otis has insane DPS. So, I mean, would that make him OP? I don't know, but it would be cool to see. Knuckle Buster's pickup radius increased by 30%. Oh, please. I think it should be like that by default, dude. I always find myself trying to pick it up, and then I just don't. And then I die. And it's really annoying. So, yeah, I, I would like that. Buster's movement speed increased by 7% while his super is active. Another really good idea. That one would be insane. I have experience with this because when I was playing with Alex doing the uh, robo challenge thing, I used my super and I was going really slow and then I died because of that. So something like this would actually be great. That's that's a really creative idea. Mortis will recharge 10% of his ammo when hitting air. What? Oh, wait, dude, that's kind of insane. That would be awesome. It would like incentivize you getting from point A to point B without like using up all of your ammo. So when you attack absolutely nothing, like you miss, you get a little bit of your ammo back so then you can approach better. That would be so cool. I think that one right there is like the most creative one in this entire list and I'm all for it. That one's really cool. Either way, that's gonna do it for today's Reddit video. If you enjoyed, slap like, slap subscribe. Let me know what you think about the new cam. I might need to do a little bit more like tweaking with the lighting and stuff, but uh, it's so so much better than what it was before because before it didn't work it was laggy i could go on about that for hours but every single time i was going to record a face cam video it had some sort of glitch that made it take like 30 minutes to an hour longer just for me to be able to start recording and this one just turned on i'm so happy about it and this is the final call to get yourself a nub three pin after like the next week they're going to be gone forever so if you haven't gotten one yet then get it right now because they're limited stock and they're limited time so yeah that all being said though i'll see you later and have a good night guys